four-time Miss Olympia Jay Cutler. Welcome to my channel, Jay Cutler TV. And make sure to stay in tune with the newest and updated videos. Subscribe below, guys. Thank you so much for following along. How's your video? Huh? Unreal. It's like, still remember the day you tell me if I want to be Mr. Olympia, I got to think like Mr. Olympia, walk like Mr. Olympia, act like Mr. Olympia before Guys. I become Mr. Olympia. Mel. That has stuck in my head since 2012. I know, I know, I know. I'm gonna take a picture. Come on, JM. So your video that you guys did came true. Chris, you predict on it. I watched that whole thing. You know, I'm like, hey, I'm just I'm listening. Didn't think I watched that stuff. See. I just listened to everything he has ever told me since day one. People think I'm kidding, but he was the first one to tell me, hey, you want to be Mr. Olympia, you need to start acting like Mr. Olympia. Talking like Mr. Olympia, walking like Mr. Olympia, training like Mr. Olympia before you become Mr. Olympia. And that was 2012, like 3 o'clock in the morning. Just talk about it. You know, and, and here I am. I feel honored being at your first show. <laughs> Your first doing your first photo My shoot. First photo shoot. Now, Mr. Olympia, your first to Mr. Olympia. <laughs> we go back a long way. Long, long, long right. Time. <laughs> Pretty crazy. Awesome. Man. Enjoy the moment. Oh, yeah. Because it goes by fast. <laughs> the the next muscle one. fitness. <laughs> yeah. yeah. One more interview. Yeah, we're right back over here. Hey. Show me that. Show me that thing. It's <laughs> really heavy, though. Chris, Chris, Chris. Talk to me for a second. Chris, that's early for you. You're like an amateur. <laughs> you already went in sand dive. <laughs> all right, so how do you feel, man? We've shot all year long. We've talked about this so many times. And you finally got it. You worked your ass off just like he did, just like Stan did. You guys were a team. He yeah. keeps talking about a supporting cast, a supporting cast of yeah. you guys. How do you feel, man? I mean, I, I, this is an amazing feeling. I mean, Deshaun trusted me. He trusts my different training style. He could have went with anybody. He could have went with Milos. He could have went with Neil. He could have went with anybody. And he, and he said, I trust you to train me for the show, for these shows. And we had a lot of hiccups, but he, he never lost out. Even last year, you know, we took fifth, and he never, not one time, questioned my abilities. And then, you know, we found a magic formula, and it just worked, and everything just came together. And we got it, baby. We got it. I think, I think you and Sean and Stan were just a select few of, out of the entire world who knew you could do this. Yes. Just a little bit the same as I did back in the day with Jay and Perry. Right, you know, right. And when, as long as you know, and as long as you yeah. believe, anything yeah. can be accomplished. This is the proof. Well, I always believed that Sean could do it. You know, before I was training him, I just believed I had an idea of what we could do. And I just wanted to do old school training, old school training. And and then uh, right before this prep, I had an idea. Let's not chase Phil. Let's exploit Phil. Let's be more what we are. Let's not try to catch him. Let him have the rear double bicep. He can have that one, but we'll take all the other ones. <laughs> and we did that, and we did it, and we, we played our game, and he came out as one of the best Mr. Olympias ever, and no one's getting this back until we're done with it. This is ours. This is how this belongs to us. Uh, I'm so happy for Go you. Go Jim Venice, baby. Back That's right. Go Jim That's what Jay we're said. Back. We're back. Go Jim Venice. Jay we, we said the same thing. We are yeah. back. Awesome. Congratulations. Thank I'm so happy for you. Stan? <laughs> you didn't win the, the men's classic physique, but this is just as good. <laughs> you still won today. For sure, for sure. It's Talk just to me, amazing. man. You've been a big, big part of uh, what Sean calls a supporting cast. Uh, you've been training with him for two years. You've been at the Olympia for this is your third year here. Uh, you're like his little brother. He always says that, and, and I'm so happy for you guys. Uh, I was telling Jay today, I said, you know what, today, Sean and Stan and Chris probably feel the exact same way we felt exactly. back in 2006 after prejudging. We're yeah. like, oh my God, we can touch it yeah. We're right there. Yeah. And I'm so glad that they made the right call. They actually gave it to Sean. He was well deserved the, it was, the title. It was really unique tonight. It was very, even yesterday, it was 
something you don't see very often, you know, with perfect conditioning, no, no water left, no fat, nothing, just peel. But you know what, the confidence, yeah. I think the way he, he presented himself on stage yeah. and the way he, he, you know, he walked on stage, mm -hmm. it was reminding myself of uh, seeing Jay back in 09 yeah. when he got the title back. Yeah. He was so confident yeah. in how good he looked mm -hmm. and you could feel that. He, yeah. I told him, I texted him last night and I said, you acted tonight like a Mr. Olympia. Yeah. And if you can do that tomorrow, I think you'll win yeah. and you won. Yeah. Exactly. Don't you agree? Yeah, for sure. He, yeah. he was just perfect in every every pose. Every pose so. he was just what I loved the most is when you looked at Phil before the abs and ties. I know, I know. <laughs> that was priceless. That was priceless. He was just waiting. Oh man, I'm so happy for you guys. You guys are a great team, an amazing team. He's lucky to have you uh, and you have to have Chris. Have him. And you're lucky to have him. It's a, it's a team effort and I'm so happy for you guys. Congratulations. Thank you so much. All right, Chris, this was a long time in the coming. Long time. It's the, it's the third year that Sean could possibly win it. Yes. And after the pre-judging last night, not only I felt he knew, you knew, but the whole entire world yeah, knew. The vibe. Right? Don't you agree? Yeah, I, t I totally agree. I mean, there's when Sean came out, uh, you could feel the electricity. And there was no way that that crowd in pre-judging was not going to get behind him, and they did. And not only did, I think it, uh, you know, he could feel that vibe, you know, like something special is happening. And he just had the banging package that made it impossible in my eyes for him to lose. But, but let me tell you something. I, we've seen Sean looking amazing uh, when, in 2015 and 2016. Yeah. His attitude was not one of the Mr. Olympia. That's right. I and, agree with and, you. And when, and when, I, when right. I saw him last time on stage, I texted him after the show and I said, Sean, Tonight, you acted on stage as a Mr. Olympia. Yes, he, he did. can do that tomorrow. Jay's been telling him to do that since 2012. Right. Hey, that's right. He, he could tell on stage last night that he was confident. He yeah. knew you nailed it. He yeah. knew you looked great. It was his title. As soon as he walked on stage, you could tell. Yeah. He, that has a big part in winning the title this, today. Yeah, no, I, I agree with you. And, and part of that is Sean had a very tough year last year. And, you know, I always tell people I work with, you know, but they don't internalize it. You have to, you have to, uh, you know, stay, do what you want to do and be selfish and not pay attention to anyone else. And I think he dealt with, this was like the first real year that he was like, you know, I don't really care. If I lose, I lose. If I win, I win. If I get hurt training, I get hurt training. Wow. He was, there's 90% in and there's 120% in and he was 120% in. Wow. And that's, I'm know. so happy for you. You deserve an Olympia. Thank you. You're one of the best in business. Everyone knows that. Yeah. Today's validation. And I'm so happy for you. Thank you very much. Next year. I'm, I'm Thanks, Chris. thrilled. Thank you. I was, I was going to ask you, you know, every time Sean's get the chance, he's being asked, he's always crediting you for him becoming Mr. Olympia and putting that in his head and pursuing that goal. How does that make you feel? Uh, I don't really think much about it, to be honest, because I just had these talks and I said, listen, man, this is what it takes from a mindset, because we always talk about like the physical thing. But the mindset of like a winner, you have to have that mindset of like, hey, this is, you know, this is what I'm going to set out to do. And you don't think about like the negative stuff as much. Like you only think about, OK, the outcome has to be more positive And listen, you have to fail in order to succeed. Right. So I think really just putting his head like, man, this is what it, my mindset was and just kind of spilling over like things I've lived and experienced. And that's kind of what I put in his head. Like if you want to be Mr. Olympia, you got to act like it. You know, you need to act professional all the time. You need to take the pictures when you don't want to. Um, you want to train when you don't want to, and you know you got to travel. Yourself. He told me to travel. Well, you know, while he's popular, to travel well, to make I the mean, money. I mean, listen, it's just like now. I mean, he's going to have be, he's going to have a, some weights on his shoulder, and he's going to know how to handle it and balance a lifestyle too. I mean, it's it's a lot. Yeah. It's so tough. I think you know, for him, it's you know, it's it's a huge achievement for him. But he's got his work cut out for him this year, and I think uh, that will tell uh, you know what kind of champion he is as he carries the title through 2019. Thank you so much, Tim. Congratulations, Sean Roden. It's like a little title win. Yes, it's done. Long time, and I predicted it, right? Yes, I did. I promised it. Hey! It's like a circus. I see, I'm the smart one. I can see that. <laughs>